So as you can see here, Apple has released a new watchOS update that has a new watch face. And not only that, there's going to be new wallpapers as well. So this is watchOS 10.5, the official released version. If you're going to be updating it, to it for the first time, you can expect the update size to come in close to 500 to 800 megabytes. For this one, since I've been testing it for some time, the update size came in for me at exactly 470. 73 megabytes and I was updating from one of the previous betas that I was on but quickly going into the settings and then going to general and going to software update you can see I am up to date and I'm current if we go back here and then go to the about you can see the updated build number that we have and as you can see version 10.5 with the build 21t576 now this has been incremented from the RC1 to RC2 version. So if you're on the RC2 version as well, you'll see this exact same build number. So that's what I have here. Now, in terms of the new features and changes that this update has to offer, you can probably see the first one right here. This is a new Pride watch face that's here. If you lower your risk and then you raise it up, you can see how it illuminates and it has this dynamic motion where it's like 3D tracking. So this is what you see when you lower your risk. And then when you raise up your risk like this, you can see what it does. And if we go in to try and edit it right here, you can see you give you get about five different colors that you can choose from. So this is the first one and the one that Apple is marketing for this color or this watch face and then you get the second one this is the third one which is seems to be more neutral for me and I like this one and the color seems to be good and then there's this more which which makes like uh, this is number four which makes the blue color more prominent and if you go to the last one this is the one and for me if I was to use this I would say number three looks the best and if you want to edit it further you can see there's no complications there's no different changes that you can do here so this is the pride radiance watch face and I've shown you how you can get it if you don't have it on your device you can always try and add it here and if you it will be the one that's in the middle of the new watch face selector as you can see right here let me just raise this up if you don't see this watch face, you can always go to your new watch face selector and it will be the one in the center or in the middle as you can see right there. And then if you click there, you'll be able to see this Pride Radiance watch face and you can add it and try to customize it. Now, keep in mind that if you don't see this and your iPhone and Apple Watch are connected and you haven't updated to the latest watchOS version, which at this point in time is iOS 17.5 for the iPhone and watchOS 10.5 for the Apple Watch, then you can update your iPhone first. And then when you update your Apple Watch, you'll be able to see this new Pride Radiance watch face. Now, the good thing about this is that it doesn't just come as a watch face alone. In fact, Apple released a number of other things alongside this. So if you see here on Apple's own uh, website, you can see they talked about a new watch band that going to cost 99 US dollars. So depending on the currency origin you are, you can always do the conversion. But yeah, this watch band is going to be available on May 22nd. And then that's in the US and Canada and in other regions, it's going to be available on May 23rd going forward. So 99 US dollars and you can see how Apple is marketing this with the you know, watch face that I highlighted. This is the first color. And if you have an iPhone that has been updated to the latest iOS 17.5, you can always go back, go to the wallpaper section right here. And then if you try and add a new wallpaper, you know, when you update for the first time, of course, most of these are going to be loading, but let's try and add this third one. And then if we add it and set it as a pair right now, you can see what it looks. If I lock my device, this is how it looks. And if I unlock, you can see it has this motion. And then if I, you know, bring down, 
and then if i bring down my notification you can see the motion that it has right here and it's meant to go with this third color if you choose the first color you can always go into your wallpapers and choose you know the one that you want and you can always try and customize this but yeah it's pretty cool the way they add this animation and it's something that you can add once you update to watch os 10.5 and ios 17.5 another thing to highlight about these new wallpapers if you have the apple watch you get the watch face on the iphone you get the wallpaper and on the ipad you get the wallpaper but if you're on mac os like i've mentioned in my mac os video you won't get the wallpaper something i should highlight with this update is how good it's been working and for those that are curious you know since i was asked to test this this is the blood oxygen measurement of my device you can see right here it's working and my results are always pretty much constant i haven't seen any issues with this and of course in the background and as i sleep and do different activities my heart rate and ecg are taken so you can see this is working that's my blood oxygen percentage right now and if you're using your watch to do different functions or use it for ecg or heart rate you can always measure and this is going to be pretty much solid one thing that this update fixes is an issue with store kit that would cause it to crash when clicked and that has been fixed and it's an issue of the past something good that i would like to highlight with this update is that if you go into your battery life and this is not just my experience it's across different forums and different people that I've reached out because I do post questions here and there on my community tab it has to do with battery life so if you go into your settings and then you go to where it says battery health one thing that I like about this I don't know if it's the update itself or the watch always update seems to be more uh, stable but my maximum health capacity I've been using this device you know in beta ever since I got it and it's on 96 percent which seems to be good and my battery life and overall device usage when it comes to the apple watch is really good you can see my drain is pretty much normal and constant and you know i last charged it about uh, last charge to optimize limit which is 80 percent a few hours ago and now you can see i'm still on 80 percent which is something that's good so battery life i can't really complain when it comes to this update and performance wise it also seems to be good i gotta say that one issue that i did experience after i updated my watch and my iphone to the latest version is that the communication between the two devices sort of dropped off and i noticed that especially when it comes to the apple watch because if i would go here you see when i trigger the control center here and then try to ping my iphone instead of ringing the iphone the device would just open up find my and i noticed that i had to restart my device in order for this issue to be fixed so then after two days apple released the rc2 version which is the same version that i hear and which will you probably get on the official release they resolved that issue so now the devices are communicating notifications are coming through which are solid and that's basically how this update has been for me if you're wondering whether you should update then you at least you know my experience from a person who's been testing it for a while now and at the same time if you're going to be updating your iphone version i'll be covering a separate video about ios and some of the new features and changes now do keep in mind on this apple security release page when it comes to the latest versions that you're going to be installing your devices including watch os 10.5 because apple is going to update this and they're going to let us know when it comes to watch os what issues they are resolving or patching when it comes to watch os 10.5 but they try and delay this to give enough people ample time to update so that you know after they update then they know okay this is what's patched and and people won't try and gain the system in a way before enough people update to the relay security update so basically that's how this update has been for me on my device in case you're curious wait which is going to be the next update for watchOS that's going to be watchOS 10.6 it usually comes out in beta after about two days when this update comes out and then it stays in beta for about a month which means we'll get wwdc 2024 on june 10th and we'll get the next watch os 11 betas war watch os 10.6 is going to be in betas at the same time obviously watch os 10.6 is more 
it's going to be more of an increment update and isn't going to have much more issues it's going to be more of like a stability and security update so in that case i'll turn my focus to watch os 11 and i'll be covering it here on the channel alongside the latest ios 18 and mac os version so if those are versions or update that you want to get to see before you update and know what are the new features and changes then hit that like button and subscribe so that you don't miss out Peace.